to Spin It With The Puckers, episode three. And uh, I'm joined by a co-host. And I'm delighted to say that one of our moderators, Tracy Cunningham, is with us. Tracy, are you there? I am. Thanks for having me, Mark. It's great to be here. Hello, Puckers. <laughs> Brilliant to have you on. So, um, have you had a good week, Trace? A busy week, really busy week, but um, I may have mentioned people that I'm off uh, on holiday, so um, I, uh, I'm i getting relaxed now. Great, great. Well, have, great to have you here, and uh, it's good to somebody to share the load. So we're going to start with the, the news items. At this point in the show, we, we go through a number of news stories that have broken in the world of Peloton, and uh, the first news story is about the treadmill. So a Chinese source has come out this week and said that um, they believe that in the third quarter Peloton are going to announce the new treadmill and um, it's going to be a, a smaller treadmill. Interestingly, the size of the screen is apparently quite different. It's going to be 23.8 inches against the 32 inch, which it is at the moment, uh, but comparable with the bike screen, similar size. Um, apparently. Peloton have sold 250,000 treadmills this year, um, so it's way below the bike, but it's a lot more expensive than the bike, of course. Um, the tread is going to be slightly smaller, apparently lighter, and this is fantastic news for the UK, for uh, Canada, and for Germany. Um, so yeah, it's an exciting story. Uh, Trace, I don't know if, if you picked up on this or you've heard any rumours in the community, what's going on? It's, it's news to me actually, but I know a lot of people are really keen on getting the tread and uh, have been waiting for this news, so I think it'll be hot property in the UK. I, oh, I'm yeah. not a runner myself, yeah. so yeah. I won't be buying one I have to say, but, yeah. um, but I think a lot of people will and I think it's good news. Yeah, now, I'm the same. Do you know what? I'm, I'm waiting for the rower. All the rumours about mm. the rower, but apparently Apparently the room has gone. Uh, the row has gone back onto the uh, back into the background for for a while. But hopefully next year it'll uh, it'll appear again because I definitely get the rower. Um, yeah, just one me more too. Thing. Actually, I I'm, yeah. I definitely want the rower. I think more than the the, yeah, the tread. Yeah, for sure. Um, and just one more thing. The, the same source has apparently come out and said that there is possibly a second bike. Um, Peloton mm. 2, I think they're calling it. Higher price, apparently a lot more gizmos built into it, a lot more technology, so that'll be interesting. But to be honest, Trace, I'm happy with my bike. Are you? I'm really curious about that. I'm, I'm not sure what else they could pack in. It's uh, yeah. it's um, does everything I need. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, Trace, I think you've got a news uh, item that you want to talk about. Yeah, I have. So I'm going to talk a bit about Pelofondo. Um, so um, Pelofondo, if you haven't heard, is where Peloton riders get together to ride long distances, it tends to be over weekends. And um, the next challenge is uh, next weekend, actually, uh, 25th and 26th of July. Um, but this one's really heating up. And uh, Gareth, who is our challenge king, an amazing job organising a challenge yeah. um, and I'm pretty excited about this. So the we have three Puck racer teams going into Pol Pelofondo next week. Um, now I'm going to have to make sure uh, uh, around how I pronounce these, so these team <laughs> names. So Careful, Trace. Careful. The Mother Puckers. <laughs> Um, which is my team, um, we, uh, we're we going to get together and we're going to, to win. Uh, let me just put that out there now. Um, uh, Gareth is uh, leading the Puck About team. And Linda de Cruz, it, she's leading the What the Puck team. So, um, so exciting. We, I know that you guys don't know what team you're in yet, but we're going to do the draw very, very shortly. And um, so what it's all about is there's 10 riders in each team. We've got to do 100 miles each, 1,000 miles together. So real team nice. effort. If you don't quite do 100 miles, we'll, we'll pick up the slack as a team. But here's the twist. The winning team will be the team with the highest overall power power to weight ratio so um a oh. bit different to the puck route 66 uh, yeah. where it's um <coughs> the um winning team was the la angels um and uh <laughs> it's a bit bit different and um, but yeah. it will be really good fun really good yeah. um demonstration of tactics i'm really looking forward to it 
Do you know what, Trace? I'm so disappointed. I, I don't know if you're aware, but Gareth is. Unfortunately, Esther and I are away next weekend, so we can't take part. Oh. And I've done everything to try and change it, but we can't. Um, but I'll tell you something, it sounds like it's going to be so much fun. Mm. Um, so that leads on to the third bit of news. Um, and this is an interesting one because Peloton 2020 has been taking place all week. And apparently, according to all the statistics we've been given, over 290,000 people signed up uh, to compete in over 800,000 classes. And I think it's gone to a million uh, classes now, which is, um, which is just incredible. Uh, it's, it's only Friday, Friday evening. Apparently, the most popular teams in the break are the Breakthrough Crew, with over 73,000 members, followed by the Legends of Fun, with 60,000 members. Trace, what team are you in? I actually haven't signed up for this one. I think I've bitten off more than I can chew at the moment mm. with all the challenges that are going on. Um, but... Um, and I found it a little bit confusing when it first came out, but I, I think the fact that so many people have got stuck in, and I think from what I've gathered, um, it's all about riding or, or taking a class rather with multiple instructors in a week. Yeah. So it's really demonstrating Peloton's um, thirst for getting us to do different different things, not just riding, but also the off the bike um, stuff Tracy, as well. you know so. what, you're spot on. I'm exactly the same. I, I signed up for this and I'm, I'm with the Friday crew with ben, Ben's in it and, and Matt, I think. And um, do you know what? I, I love the tribe rides that Anna mm -hmm. Krupp puts together. So I tend to follow the live tribes and the, the breakfast morning. And my the instructors in my I mean, my team haven't been on as yet, so, mm -hmm. so I've failed miserably. But to be honest with you, um, I, I, I kind of haven't got it. And, and maybe, as I say, it's just a mixture of going on the wrong rides or doing the wrong rides. But, uh, yeah, I'm with you with that. I, I'm, but I'm well, sure a lot of people are enjoying it. Yeah, I, I think so. And maybe maybe if people uh, in put can let us know what they where, what they think and uh, yeah, and try idea. and pr persuade us to get involved because I I um yeah. I think it was a little confusing to start with, but yeah. lots of people involved. So we'll see we'll see what happens. Yeah, yeah watch this space. Please please leave post um, comments underneath the video because again we I'm really cu curious to, to to see if you follow the same as uh, as Tracy and I. So uh, enough about that. On to uh, the fourth <laughs> news item and back over to you, Trace. Yeah. So I. I am going to talk about um, power zone training or more specifically the power zone pack. So if you haven't done power zone training before, check out the program on the bike. This was an absolute game changer for me. So I'd never done spinning before, got on the bike. Some of you know the story about me getting stuck on the, the bike the first time I went on it. And I, I did the power zone training program and it um, changed things for me and it helped me with my endurance so now um i've mastered the 90 minute rides they're not for the faint-hearted you do need yeah. to prepare but um now the 30 minute rides are a br rides are a breeze so the power zone pack is um a group of power zone training enthusiasts and um they um mobilize around eight week challenges so these challenges have, have just grown exponentially and um the next one starts on the 24th of August it's themed around back to school okay. but there's a bit of a difference with this one so the Brits are coming right so the the, the Brits we have formed three teams um, there's a woman's team um, okay. Her Majesty's Hustlers a men's team the British Bulldogs and an emerging team which is the UK mixed team named to be announced but we are um, absolutely mobilizing to take that leaderboard by storm so um, the the, the format is you do three power zone rides uh, okay. a week. Uh, three. There's, there's several groups actually, but the the group that we're the format we're going for is the three rides a week. Okay. Um, it's all mapped out as a training program, but there's a okay. really big competitive spirit with it. So um, we are um, unofficially aiming for the top three spots. So uh, the US better watch out. Um, this start, right? So it starts, um, so sign up is now. If you're right. interested, go over to the UK Power Zone Pack page. Uh, it's another Facebook community. Okay. Um, the challenge itself starts the 24th of August, which I know is a bit of a challenge for us in the UK because that's um, around the school holidays. Mm -hmm. uh, all the schools yeah. going back, I think. But um, mm. well worth having a look. If you are not sure about this challenge, just take a look anyway because the Power Zone training uh, is, is huge, uh, hugely beneficial 
ideal um, for your um, fitness on the bike. Um, but if you're if you think you might be up for signing up, then get over to the uh, UK Power Zone Pack page <laughs> and uh, and take a look there and if anyone's got any questions give us a shout you'll see some posts on Puck around it um ian hooper's mobilizing the uk mixed page and it's oh. going to be really good fun if ian's involved it's going to be serious <laughs> friends he's brilliant i love ian well that's 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 the the end of the news items um some good stories this week so now we come into the part of the show where we talk about peloton gear and uh this week we've got uh, one of the admins, Gareth Jones, one of our favourite guys in the community. Does a lot and uh, love his challenges. And um, Gareth uh, has got this to say about something that I think we all like. Thanks, Mark, and hello, Puckers. Um, I'm Gareth, also known as Funky Tastic. I'm just going to do a quick review of something that I really like at the moment that I found really useful, and that is these lovely shoes. The Nike Super Rep shoes. I know quite a lot of people have been talking about these. Um, I got these on a recommendation off Ben Cohen and I'm really, really glad that I got them. So big benefits, really comfy. They're like wearing slippers. Very different to the Peloton shoes and do take probably a couple of rides to get used to. But as I said, really comfy. And the cleats do click out really easily as well compared to the Peloton shoes I've found. Some people do find a little bit of an issue with um, getting the cleats attached. So what you need to do is take out the insoles. There's a foam patch at the bottom, you take that out and then you'll have a little metal piece which is where your cleats screw into. Put that into the, into the space, put your foam back on top, insole back in and then get your, your cleats off, your peloton shoes and you can just attach them on and off you go with them. I went with white, as you can see, maybe not the best idea because they do get a little bit mucky um, and I'm really sorry to say, but it is from sweat. So I do have to clean them quite a lot. So it might be worth going for the pink or the black. The pink are very popular at the moment and they do look really, really, really good. Um, but still love them. Really, really happy with them. One thing that I would say is in regards to sizing, you definitely want to go for at least a half a size bigger maybe a whole size bigger. I went for half a size bigger and what I do tend to find is on longer rides, your feet get really hot and they do swell. So mine come, come quite close to the end and it's not uncomfortable, but I think probably a, a, a size up might be better than half uh, personally, but everyone's different I suppose with that. Um, so where did I get them from? So I got them from sportshoes.com, really good website. Uh, service was fantastic. They came in probably about three days, really, really quick, and they cost me £104.95, which you know, is quite a lot, but I've had the Peloton shoes for 18 months, so I think divide that by 18 months and it's not too bad, but definitely worth it. So that's me done. If anyone's got any questions, then just leave a message in the inbox at the bottom of the screen and I'll come back to you. Um, and also, you might have noticed this round my neck, I'm not sure if you have, but just want to say this lovely medal arrived today. So that's from Route 66, absolutely made up with that. So let's go Dodgers. And back over to you, Mark. See you later. Hey, what do you think about this? Tracy? They're beautiful, Mark. And look what I've got. Hey. <laughs> I have to say, I stalked these on their on the Nike website because I desperately needed some new shoes because mine were walking to the bin, and they'd sold out of my size, <laughs> and um, uh, and the the size came back. So I've got big feet, eight and a half. Um, yeah. I've I've gone. I've gone a size up like like Gareth suggested, and yeah. um. The eight and a halves came back in stock at two o'clock in the morning and I happened to see it and I bought them. So I'm really chuffed with that. Really good, really good shoe and um, really comfy. Totally agree. Totally agree. Yeah, I, I went for a, a size, um, half a size up and they fit perfectly. And I, I've got to say, uh, I heard Ben Cohen talk about them and obviously Gareth and um, I, I'm not disappointed at all. I've worn them on three three rides now and they're, they are just so comfortable and uh, really impressive bit of kit. I had to put the... 
the uh, old peloton shoe cleats on. Did you do that, mm. Rose? Yeah, I did, yeah. And I think when I first put them on, actually, I noticed this bit here was quite snug around yeah. my foot but when yeah. I'm riding that yeah. helps me to pull and push you know you hear them talk about pull and push well sure. I really get a pull really? and um I'm much um more I'm mm. much more stable out the out of the saddle now so um they, they've made a huge difference for me I'm glad I invested in them actually same here best investment uh, mm. for a few weeks Trace for sure now um <laughs> over to you with the next sec next segment yeah, so um, my, my good friend Ben Cohen is going to give us some uh, tips and I'm really keen to hear these tips because uh, I got the bike to try and get fit by 40 and uh, to lose weight as well and I'd really like to know why I'm not losing weight uh, as fast as I'd like to um, because I ride the bike quite a lot. So over to you Ben, um, give me all your best tips. Hey, nice one Tracy. Um... Boss mode here, boss mode 85, sorry. Uh, just wanted to uh, put you guys in with some little uh, health tips, really. Um, I know we usually do little segments on the bike, but I just thought I'd go in a little bit different direction uh, today. Uh, usually it's more aimed at beginners. Uh, a lot of people who do uh, the Peloton, you know, everyone's on their own journey. Um, and a lot of people uh, do sort of weigh themselves sort of before they get on the bike for the first time and weigh themselves a few weeks after. And what a lot of people do, and I've seen a lot of posts on Facebook about this, is people are saying, you know, they're not losing that much weight. You know, why is that? Now, it could be a number of things. Firstly, when you are on the bike, you are actually going to start building more muscle. Okay? So, yes, you will be losing weight, but you won't be losing it at a dramatic pace because, you know, a lot of that weight is now going to remain there because now it's going to be turning into muscle okay so don't think just because you've only lost maybe two pounds in like six weeks you know you, you haven't done what the bike was going to help you to do which is obviously lose weight so you are losing weight but you're also getting a lot stronger and a lot fitter so then that weight which was all excess fat is now becoming muscle okay so don't forget that and secondly as well is diet so you could do it like a 90 minute ride or 45 minutes apart or 20 minute, you know, hills ride or whatever it is. But then if you do that ride, then you're gonna have like a McDonald's or a KFC. It's kind of pointless doing it. So yeah, you can have a blowout, you know, every couple of weeks. But just think of the long-term goals. Think of what you want to achieve, okay? You don't need to go and follow all these different diets out there. Everyone knows what's good for them. Fruit, veg, you know, stay hydrated, drink plenty of water, you know, if people want to do what I've been doing and what a lot of other people have done has gone, you know, try and go uh, plant-based, give it a try, it might not be for you, then go back to what you were doing, you know, stick to, you know, fresh chicken, um, you know, pastas and whatnot, and, you know, you know what's good, you know what you're putting into your body, you know it's going to be good for you or bad for you, so you don't need to look at every other diet, you know, out there, you know what's good for you, simple as that. Um, so yeah, but again, just really want to touch on the whole uh, weight and losing weight because I know because uh, I've I recently qualified um, to be a personal trainer um, and I've read up on loads of different things and the one thing which does discourage people from continuing uh, the training programs is they feel like they haven't lost that amount of weight that they wanted to lose I don't know a stone in like eight weeks. It's like yeah, maybe a bit unrealistic. Eight weeks, maybe go for you know, 10 weeks, 12 weeks, but it's all based on diet and, you know, you've got to continue exercising. However, depending on the type of exercise you're doing, maybe it's not the bike, maybe it's all weight bearing exercises. Um, just remember you are getting stronger and you are getting fitter. So your muscles will be getting bigger, which is adding more weight to your body. You will be losing the fat, but you will be getting stronger and your muscles will be getting bigger. Okay, uh, that's all for this week. Probably gone on a bit too long. Um, so anyway, next one. Uh, back to you, Mark. Thanks, Ben. Um, I thought that was really interesting, Trace. Um, it was different to his uh, his last couple of weeks where he's mm. kind of giving advice. Um, yeah, I picked up some good stuff there. Did you? Yeah, yeah, me too. I think I, I really 
resonate with what he said because I'm definitely stronger. Um, I've definitely lost inches, but the the scales aren't moving. So that makes total sense to me. Mm-hmm. And um, Ben uh, Ben actually inspired me to go plant based. I uh, I've gone veggie for for probably since about last November time. Um, I've had a few a few little uh, fish finger sandwiches and things like that. <laughs> but um, but yeah, actually yeah. I. Made, made me makes me feel much healthier so uh yeah, yeah nice one ben really good advice there and i think Brilliant. um got to stick with it yeah absolutely so frank it's over to you again yeah so well next we have um a bit of a feature on this show and i think sarah has set the bar high so gem no okay. pressure try bride <laughs> schedule over to you <laughs> Oh, thanks, Tracy. That's awesome. Um, I'm super excited to announce the Tri Brides for Puck this week. Um, we've got an absolute jam-packed schedule for you, so I'm just going to get straight into it. So we have Breakfast Club, Monday to Friday, 6.15am, organised by the amazing Anna Crook. Um, so let's get cracking. Monday morning, we have 30-minute pop ride with our one, our one and only Ben Aldis. Tuesday, 30 minutes of after ride. Oh, good job. Good luck with that one, with Robin. Wednesday, 30 minutes, 90s ride with Emma Lovewell. Thursday morning, 45 minute Queen pop ride with Robin again. And Friday, we have 30 minutes, 80s ride with Jess King. Moving on to our uh, tri bride schedule, we have another jam packed one for you. There's absolutely loads of rides going on from beginners right through to power zone people. So let's get going. Monday, 2 pm, a live class, 30 minute, 90s ride with Ben Aldis. Tuesday, 12 o'clock, another live 45 minute pop ride with Hannah Frankson. Wednesday, 1 p.m., live ride, 45 minute power zone endurance ride with the one and only Matt Wilpers, another favourite of mine. 7 30 on the same nights of Wednesday, we have our advanced beginners um, on demand class with Tracy Cunningham. She's going to be taking a Cody Rigsby ride, so enjoy that one, guys. Thursday, 2 p.m. live class. We have a 45 minute interval and arms ride with the one and only disco queen that is Leanne Hingsby. Friday, 1 p.m. live, 45 minute hitting hills with uh, the one and only Sam Yo. Saturday, 10 a.m. live, 30 minutes interval and arms ride with Hannah Frankson. And then if you're an afternoon rider on a Saturday, we have a 1 p.m. live, 60 minute power zone endurance ride with Matt Wilpers again. Um, and following on to Sunday, we obviously have our 10 a.m. pyramid. Obviously, check the schedule for the classes for that and make sure you bookmark. 4:30 p.m. we have a 60-minute feel-good ride with Ali Love, and 6 p.m. 30-minute power zone ride with Christine. We have a uh, century ride this week. Woohoo! The one and only uh, Tamsin Davis is going to be riding her century ride. She hasn't picked her ride as yet. So we're just waiting for confirmation of that. But once we get that, we'll come back to you. Don't forget to use the hashtag uh, PUKC so that everyone can ride together. And don't forget all your high fives. Hope to see you on the leaderboard in the week at some point. Have a great week, guys. Hey, thanks, Gem. That was uh, that was great. A real a different spin on the uh, on Sarah's um, tribe rides. Excuse the pun, but uh, yeah. Uh, thanks for that. So now it's time for puck chat, and I'm really pleased that we have a fantastic guest on. Uh, the show. Alan Bates. Now you'll have seen Alan in the community over the last few weeks or so and the transformation in Alan's life has been incredible. Not just his appearance but his his whole life since he got the uh, the Peloton bike and Alan's going to tell us a little bit about it. Um, so Alan how are you doing? Yeah good really good. You guys? Yeah great. Yeah thanks for coming on we uh, we appreciate it. So yeah tell yeah. us uh, tell us a little bit about yourself Alan. Um. 54 year old project manager working in construction at Canary Wharf. Um, over the last probably three, four years, I've had some quite serious knee problems that have involved a couple of operations. Um, one of them led to a massive clot that put me in intensive care for a few days, which um, for all intents and purposes looked like a massive heart attack in a Costa Coffee on a Saturday morning. And um, wow. so there was the... Uh, you've got to get yourself fit. You've got to get some of this weight off. But me being me, I kind of, I thought it it didn't get me that time. It ain't going to get me again. So I just carried on and um, started going to the gym, started doing various different things that I found very difficult because of um, severe knee pain. And literally 
got to the stage where it was you've got to do something. So joined Virgin Active, me and the wife, £108 a month in um, oh. subscriptions. Went six times because I got a deal on the personal trainer for the first six sessions sure. and never went again. <laughs> so um, We've all done it, mate. So, yeah, yeah. And then um, what happened was during, during that time, we had gone through IVF mm -hmm. and my wife was uh, pregnant. And I was away on a business trip in Rome and I was uh, at this place where the Pope's got his summer house. It's a big lake at the top of a volcano, just the most idyllic setting you'll ever come across. And hundreds of holiday makers sitting having their evening meal. I got out of a minibus and my leg just gave away. Oh. So, you know, 20 odd stone of me just hit the floor. And um, incredibly embarrassing. Um, okay. I get up, I get up after feeling about myself to go and sit in this restaurant where it had all plastic chairs, which completely just scared the life out of me again. Because I thought if I sit on one of them and that goes now, you know, this is almost becoming comedic sort of Nightmare. thing. Nightmare. Yeah. Um, so, literally, Henry was born and it was very clear that I couldn't carry him upstairs or carry him around. So, it was decided that um, I had to do something. Tried the gym again. Um, just couldn't get inspired by it. And... Um, and then, literally, I, I, I had to find something. I had to find something. So I take, it, I take it this is where the, the Peloton bike came in? Yeah, I mean, we'd, we'd seen... Um, see that funny joke, the, the one that went round, done the rounds of the bloke in Aberdeen that was sitting on his bike? Yes. Have you seen that one? <laughs> yeah. And, um, Hilarious. You know, so, so that was getting sent to me every 10 minutes. And then, just out of interest, you tap in, you know, what is this Peloton thing? Sure. And um, then start kind of just making inquiries. And, and I never heard a bad thing about it. I mean, the community and, and everything else, it just seemed like you were getting your own personal trainer in your house. Sure. And you could work out which one you liked. Whereas yeah. when you were going to Virgin, if this fella, Alex, yeah. who was a lovely fella, was getting on my nerves, I was yeah. stuck with him, wasn't I? Yeah. <laughs> whereas, exactly. Exactly. Where, yeah. Whereas with the Peloton, I, I just find the whole thing brilliant, especially with especially with the groups. Yeah. The, you well, know, you can choose you can choose your instructor. Your, your... You can choose your you can choose your instructor. Yeah. You can you can choose to go on when you want to go on. The, the yeah. concept is is second to none, and I don't think I've I've spoken or met anyone that's had anything bad to say about the Peloton bike experience. So so what's your yeah. experience been like? I mean, how long have you had it now, and, and what you what you've been doing? We 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 got it on April the twelfth. Right. And um, so all the way through lockdown, um, I was actually, I continued working all the way through lockdown, but, you know, I was, I was managing to get on it. Sure. But what, what happened to me, which was very, very odd, and it, it hadn't happened to me since I was doing karate and kickboxing when I was uh, in my late teens, I actually wanted to get on the bike. Yeah. And for me, it was all, even my missus thought, what's happened to this bloke? And it was, um, I was getting up early in the morning and I was getting on it late at night. And then I was realising if I got on it too late, <laughs> I couldn't sleep. Yeah. And then, you know, and I, and I started this little thing on one of the groups. And every time I finish one of my mad videos that I do, yeah. I actually said, I hate that bike. I love that bike. <laughs> and then I just hashtagged it as hate that bike, love that bike. And a couple of people, you know, jokingly picked up on it sort of thing. Because at the beginning, I did hate it. I absolutely sure. hated it. Um, but I knew I had to do it. And, Alan, and all did you, sudden, do you mind me asking you, what sort of weight were you when you got the bike back in April? Um, about 23 stone, something like that. Just, just tipping around the 23 stone. Uh, at the moment, I'm just over 20. Um, stone. Yeah. So similar um, story to George Henderson, who we had on the last show. Yeah, but George is really good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a bit of a knob, to be quite honest. Um, I... What happens is a couple of my posts might people might have seen. Oh, I ain't losing an ounce. I'm not losing yeah, an ounce. Yeah, yeah. I'm changing. Yeah. So, and what happens with me is, you know, I'm a fanatical Arsenal supporter for my sins, and I like a beer when I watch them because if I don't have beer, they just make me sad. <laughs> so, Mate, it could be worse. You could be a Villa fan. Well, yeah, yeah, on, but let's... then I'd probably be an alcoholic. You but this just I'm teetering on the edge. I'm teetering on the edge of alcoholism. So. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, so I've not been good like George. I've not been good like a couple of the blokes that I've seen that are losing weight rapidly. But but, your, but, but Alan, your your appearance, so that that photo that you put on the um yeah. on the on the group the other day, where from July last year through to the current time, I mean the yeah. the transformation from then is it, just it's it's just startling. And I think you've got some. I think we yeah. something like three hundred reactions, three hundred likes, and. I mean, that was really up there with, with the record in the community. So it, it obviously um, it obviously made an impression upon the community. No, no that's, that's, that's good. It's nice. That, and I it think that's what, that's what helps you because what I've done with this, by making these posts, I've made myself accountable to everyone. Sure. You know, and when I'm saying to people, I've got 56 pounds to lose by December the 31st, you know, I'm, I'm hoping everyone that's supporting me helps me through it just as they are with George. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so well that that really you know, you're answering the, the the basically the next question I was going to ask you. I mean, what what has your experience in in a nutshell? What's the experience been like for you within the the Peloton UK community, or at, AKA Puck as we as we call it? How, how have you found it, yeah. um, Alan? I I've I've found it absolutely brilliant because there's there's That's not a great, person on there that I've come across that actually grinds on me because yeah. I'm, you know you know like you've got me now. I'm chatty and all that stuff. <laughs> I'm I'm a man who fights demons. I'm you know I'm right. one of these blokes that if you right. wind me up, you've yeah. really wound me up. Yeah. And and the the thing with it is with the group, you can get people not not with this group. You can on certain groups. I went on the American one for a couple oh, of weeks. Whoa. And you know I would have I I would have got in so many rows because people are just rude. You, yeah. you know they would yeah. they would they were just. Gosh, yeah. and I, I don't like all that. I like to be nice. Yeah, absolutely. And then if if I'm having a moment, I'll stay away from a group. You know, if someone's wound me up to do. Alan, work, Alan, right. the world's the world's horrible enough, isn't it? And what I love about the yeah, the, the pub exactly. community is that there's no egos. There's no there's no. nobody trying to make something that they're not. They they're just being themselves. And and the reactions and the support that that people get, like yourself, like George. Um, it just staggers me. 20, 21 months on since I set up the community, it, it's literally. And by the way, we hit five and a half thousand yesterday uh, or today. Um, I, I lose track of time, but yes, yeah, just a staggering amount of of people. And and as, and and as you know, we're unofficial, so we're not linked to Peloton like the like the big groups, like the UK group and the and the the, the group in America. So, and we like it that way. We like that independence yeah. and the and we like and as I say, it's a really friendly community. Yeah. Well, see, what I like about it, when I've, when I've seen some of the other groups, you know, if, if someone puts on that they've just done so many KJs and yeah. they've done so many miles in so long, yeah. on other groups, it almost seems like you've just, you know, put a red rag to a ball. People <laughs> seem cheesed off at the fact that you're yeah. better than them. Yeah. And what I like about this one is I can see all these different things and, and people are doing so much better than I am. Sure. And instead of being jealous or nasty... I actually think, God, they're doing really well, aren't they? Yeah. And and you get others that got the bike after me. George, for instance, not at any stage have I found it in my heart to be a little bit gutted about no. he's doing better than I am. No. For the simple reason is I'm sitting there guzzling an Heineken watching football. <laughs> you know, so, it's the Heineken. But, but the thing, it's, 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 yeah, it's, it's the Dutch. It's their fault. Um, you know, but... but like I said, uh, you know, physically I'm changing. I put a post on the other week, I think I may have done, a picture of a big pile of clothes. <laughs> you know, the wife said to me, you just go up to your wardrobe now and have a look, Brilliant. just Brilliant. to prove to you that you're changing. So, 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 so Alan, got... what, what are your goals? I mean, obviously, uh, to lose more weight, to get rid of some clothes out of the wardrobe and stuff. What are your ultimate goals um, within, within? My my goals are not, not the scales in any way, shape or form. Okay. My goals are to be my son's now walking around with a push along thing yeah. and my goals are to be out kick a ball with him bear in mind Fantastic. in january i had a total knee replacement and it's the most horrendous thing i've ever been through in my life Unbelievable. and you know up until when i when we first got the peloton in april i couldn't do a revolution on the bike and Amazing. when i was at physio I, i'll tell you this i don't mind what anyone thinks of me when i was at the physio <laughs> I um I got on an exercise bike, yeah, and the bloke, um, the physio said, just push it a little bit harder, just push it a little bit harder. You want to ride a bike with your son one day, oh. and I got my leg round and I went round on this bike and I started crying. Amazing. And I, I I started crying in front of a physiotherapist. Now, 
I'm a big old lump of a man and I've I've had a I've had a colourful past and I'm not scared of many men and I sat on this bike and I cried wow. because I had got a revolution on a bike. You know, I got my leg yeah. round once. Yeah, amazing. And um and then so bear in mind I've gone from um only just getting a revolution on the pedal on with the seat being sure. to dropping it down from 31 to 27 and now i can sit on that bike for an hour comfortably with the only <laughs> issue being my gooch gets a little bit tender because there's so much weight on it um <laughs> other than that you know you know I, i'm absolutely i love it Brilliant. i can't get enough of it alan what's your leaderboard name uh n19 tkr uh n19 where i was born and bred in north london so that's okay. my postcode okay and tkr strangely sounds for total knee replacement so no. um, i'm kind of anyone that does know they can go easy on me if my stats ain't so great they can go oh poor sausage he's had his knee replaced <laughs> so um so that's um, why i put tkr on there so you could all feel sorry for me oh amazing so everybody knows now you'll be getting everyone loads and that. loads of five fives now mate when they yep, see you on the so, road yep so brilliant now they know i've only got one leg oh that's 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 well worth knowing alan thanks for that <laughs> No worries. Brilliant. Alan, listen, it's been great having you on. And um, I, I said to Chris um, a couple of weeks ago, when we were talking about guests and having guests on for a chat. You were up there, mate, with George and a number of other people. And uh, so I want to thank you for uh, for coming on. It's been a, it's been no great worries. talking to you. And um, will you come on again in the future? Because obviously yeah, we'll do. Can things, I, will, things will can move Can I go on. and have a Heineken now? <laughs> have two. Have, have one for me, will you? <laughs> Cheers, mate. Cheers, Alan. Thanks a lot. No worries. Thanks for coming on, Alan. That was uh, that was brilliant. Had a lot a lot of fun, and um, yeah, as I say, we're going to have you back on again uh, on a show in the future. Look forward to it. That's the end of the show. Um, episode three is coming to an end. Episode four will be this time uh, next time. And uh, thanks for watching, and uh, have a great week. Tracy, do you want to say goodbye? Yeah, bye everyone. Thanks for having me. It's been really good fun. Um, pop your comments below. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you want to see. And uh, we'll see you next week. Bye, guys.